welcome to the first Girls of Classes craft project. Woo! And we didn't want to do it with anyone except our fabulous friend Promise. Promise Dandman. Thank you. And tell us what we're okay. going to be making today. Yes. We're going to be learning a photo transfer process that you can do with photographs, your own drawings, art, or whatever. You can hang it in your house. And it's a cool process that kind of makes everything white in the picture that you start out with clear. So you're able to do some funky stuff. Funky. Awesome. And plus, like, it's, it's more meaningful. Yeah. There's a story behind yes. it. Yeah. Yeah, wait, but first, I think I think we need to girls classify you. Yes. And promify us. Yeah. Oh, ready? Let's One, go. two, three. <gasps> Yay! Hey! You have some cute. I love your hair. I like your oh, hair. I love it. I I feel you ready. The glasses, we got the hair. Her. Let's do this. Here we go. Craft it up. Number one. Step number one. What we want to do. Boom. No. I drew the I drew these pictures and I want to first want to say that this was for um, a photographer named Kenny Ken. He's really cool. Um, he's doing some cool stuff with this design. But we so cameras are drawn. Um, I scanned them in. Scanner. And I got this printed at um, my local Staples or Kinkos, um, whatever, by a laser printer. Laser printer. Is there not inkjet? Yeah. Laser. Okay. My step number laser. one. Laser printer, because that's what the gel is going to stick to. Number two is what we're going to do. Number two. Number two. We're taking this gel gloss. It gel is liquid top, Liquitex gloss heavy gel medium. Okay. And we're going to paint it on the paper that we just did. Okay. So on the ink side, put it down. What we're going to do is paint stripes like this. Okay. And what you want to do is you're going to do one layer, let it dry completely, do another layer, let it dry completely, do that five times. Five times. Because okay. this is really going to coat it up. And then what we're going to do is this gloss, is every, all the ink is going to stick to the gloss. And it's important to note that it has to dry in between. Yes. Right. And right it needs, between. you know. So go have a whole day where you can, you know, run a few errands, yep. do a few house stuff, and in between, yes. do a layer. Make some chocolate chip cookies. Exactly. Yes. And come back and put on another coat. Exactly. <laughs> um, the third step. Third. Number third. three? Number three. three. So you're going to put it face down. Um, into the into this pan, and then you're gonna pour water on it. And we're gonna um, scrub off all the paper. Right. So this is going to leave us with the film. So I'm just gonna start scrubbing like this. And what are we using to scrub it off? With? We're, we are using a handy dandy craft toothbrush. A handy a dandy craft toothbrush. So it looks really good. Multi purpose. A lot of yeah. character. So I'm scrubbing the paper off right now, and then this is what it's going to look like. Okay. It's going to look like this film. <gasps> yes. Which is reminiscent of when you were in third grade and you used to put glue on your hand and then you peel it off to I see your hand. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. So as you can tell, all the white is now gone and all the black is left. Okay. So step number four is apply it on your canvas. Let's talk about your little canvas. This is what I have. I have pre-made a canvas. I have colors I already painted on, kind of mixed up some of these colors. And I um, and also have some have, paper. Is that paper? Yeah, like craft paper. Cool. Just something to like funk it up and give it some texture. Right, so there's no rules. No Don't rules. Like, I have this, to do this This can be really or... messy. This can yeah. be really messy because we really want to focus on our design. Yes, we're like, putting that on. Let your spirit be free. Okay, so we're using the same gloss medium. We're just going to paint it on like this. Like so. You want to cover your canvas wherever you're putting it on. Okay. And then I'm just doing a little section here, but I'll show you how it works. And then you're gonna also take it and finish it off. It kind of you can rub it in. So this is this is this right here is your magic. This is, it is. this is the most important ingredient to making your transfer yes. successful. So I'm just painting this on, and then you want to let it dry overnight, or use a hairbrush. Or, all right, or hair. <laughs> Speaking of hairbrush, hair <laughs> yeah. you want a hairbrush out. Use a you hair want to use a hair dryer. Okay. <laughs> and then overnight it'll dry. So this is our finished product. Yay. And you might want to do some, you can do some additional touches. Yes, paint over it. Paint, hand, write stuff. Yes. There's no rhyme or reason. It's, you can really use this process and kind of cut it up and use it different ways. If you love this little painting that we just made, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Right here. You can win it. Show. Woo! Hey, who doesn't love to win free stuff? And something as adorable as this. So write a comment on this video and we're gonna pick one to be the winner. Do it. Right. And not only that, we wanna see you getting crafty, so show us your art with you. Oh yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye.